Hi guys, uh, my name is Bobby Roy and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests about one thing in particular what equipment do I shoot with so since this is a debut video I thought why not start with something similar what's in my camera bag what equipment do I shoot with so let's start this is the camera bag that I have a Kata DR 466 DL and it has become pretty heavy right now because it is carrying all my equipment inside it. It is pretty small, so it gets to, gets through uh, you know airplane security checks pretty easily, and it helps me carry all my stuff inside. I have a bigger bag as well, the Low Pro bag, but I don't generally carry it because that's pretty huge. So this is the Kata DRR 466DL. This is the first camera that I have. Uh, and it was released way back in 2006. This is none other than the Canon 400D. This uh, camera is what got me into digital photography or rather professional photography. It still works. It doesn't look like it, but it does. And I still love the camera. So let's move on to the next camera that I have. So the next camera that I have is uh, a 1000D. I also use this camera from time to time as and when I uh, require. I have not really used it for professional uses as such, but I love this camera nonetheless. So let's move on to the next camera. This is yet another camera that I have, the Canon uh, EOS 7D. Pretty fast camera, super auto focus, and it has served me really well uh, over the years. Although it has also taken some battering from all the shoots that I have done. But like all my camera equipment, I love this, the Canon EOS 7D. So this is uh, the next camera. This is my baby, I love this. Although this is pretty old. But as you can see, this is the 5D, not the Mark II, not the Mark III, but as they call it, the 5D Classic. I use it for my automotive shoots, I use it for weddings and stuff. And the quality that this camera provides is absolutely phenomenal. Just 12 megapixels, so to say, but the quality is fantastic. I love this one as well. This is my first uh, full-frame camera that I had got a long time back. And I absolutely adore this one. Now this uh, is another camera that I have and this is probably you know one of the best cameras that I've ever used. Of course it's a EOS 1 series as you can see. I got it a few years back and it was super expensive of course but the kind of quality that this camera provides is absolutely unmatched. Although this is huge in size and when coupled to something like a 70 to 200 it weighs a ton but I generally use it for uh, studio purposes or maybe where there is still life to shoot where there is controlled environment but the kind of quality that this camera provides guys you need to see it to believe this so this is the 1d that i use and i although use it uh, very less maybe a handful of times but those handful of times trust me it just makes me smile from year to year let's move on to the lenses that i have now these are the bodies majorly that i have now let's move on to the lenses This is the first lens that I wanted to show you guys. This is the Canon EFS 1022. This is an ultra wide angle lens which I generally use for group shots, for uh, taking landscape pictures and such. And this was uh, probably one of the first lenses that I got after uh, getting uh, the camera, the 400D, which came of course with the 1855 lens, which I do not have right now with me. So this is the 1022, and I'll show you what other uh, awesome lenses that I use. So this is the second zoom lens that I have. This is a 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 L. Pretty good lens. I use it mostly for uh, depending on the kind of requirement that I have. Pretty heavy, pretty good, pretty sturdy. The 24 to 70 2.8 L USM. Now this, of course, needs no introduction. It is the 70 to 200 uh, 2.8 L Mark II lens. I use this lens for my uh, various needs, automotive, weddings, fashion, portfolio, whatever requirement may be there, I use it all the time. And of course, it goes unsaid, the kind of quality that this uh, lens produces. We all must have seen uh, and read the reviews online, on YouTube, on various websites. And this is uh, one heck of a lens. This is a beautiful lens. It produces some great results. Uh, this lens is a very small lens. This is uh, the 35 f2. I use this lens majorly for uh, maybe small group shots or 
maybe generally walking around uh, in the streets of uh, Delhi or wherever I go. This is a very small lens so it is it does not garner that much attention as something like a 51.2 L which I will show you in a moment. And uh, this is a very uh, nice little pocketable lens that I have. Uh, this is one of the first prime lenses that I wanted to show you. This is of course the Nifty 50. We all are pretty familiar with this. The 51.8 which is by the way a brilliant value for money. I got this really cheap a long time back and the kind of uh, pictures that I have been able to take with this uh, are absolutely brilliant. You can see the glass already. This is a 1.8 but what is more important is uh, I have its bigger brother the 51.2 L. It is just too good guys. I mean let me keep this aside and look at this. The glass is absolutely terrific. I mean this is this is a lens which is mostly uh, on my camera when I go out on uh, photo walks or even when I'm shooting for my own leisure or maybe for some professional uh, assignments. So these are the two 50mm lenses that I have, the 51.8, the Nifty 50 and the 51.2 L. Uh, this guys is my absolute favorite lens of the lot. This is the 85 1.2 L. Look at this. Look at the glass. Isn't she a beauty? I mean, I absolutely love this lens. This is my favorite lens of them all. I shoot all sort of stuff with this and especially coupled with the full frame camera. This just produces absolute magic. And this of course weighs at least, I don't know, half a ton maybe. But the kind of images that this will produce will absolutely make you happy. This is very heavy, this is very expensive, so I keep it like my small baby. But this is a beautiful lens and I use it all the time, well most of the times when I'm using a full frame camera. Now I don't use flashes much, but here is one flash which I do have, Canon uh, Speedlight 580X2. I use it uh, mostly off camera uh, for probably filling up the shadow areas and controlling some uh, external lights maybe but otherwise I didn't generally don't use flash so this is the only flash that I have the speed light 580 x2 well I hope you guys liked the first video the debut video please like comment and subscribe to my channel for weekly updates and if you have any questions please leave on the comment section thank you for watching guys thank you so much I'll see you in the next video